feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, the wait of Android 14 is over now because today Google have released the first Android 14 developer preview for Pixel smartphones. In this video, let's find out what all changes Google have done with Android 14 first developer preview. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Pixel 6a on which I've already installed Android 14 developer preview. First of all, let me show you the software information. If we go to about section, Android version says upside down cake, which comes with 5th Feb 2023 security patch and the build number is dot double zero nine and guys there are not much of changes done with android 14 first developer preview but in future for sure we'll see a lot of new add-ons and before moving ahead if you guys like a content then make sure to subscribe and also smash that like button that will motivate us in making better content with quality so here i'll show you some changes which we have noticed after installing android 14 developer preview one first let's start with the lock screen so if i lock the device you won't see much of changes in the lock screen but one change which i have noticed and that's related to the text of date day and weather so towards the left hand side you can see that screenshot that was taken before installing android 14 and you can compare it with the developer preview little bit of shadow effect can be seen on the newer build and the text is also a bit thinner compared to previous one rest there are no changes in the lock screen and the same thing goes here on the home screen also the same font difference can be seen with little bit of shadow effect Talking about the quick setting tiles, so here you can see a noticeable change when you swipe down the quick setting tiles with the screenshot which is present on the left in that you can see there's a lot of gap between the status bar and quick setting tiles but here on this build there is very minimal gap how much the battery will last on a device and if you see the time day and date on android 13 everything was clubbed together and there was not much of gap but here you can notice a sufficient gap between the time and day. And if we swipe down more here also you'll see the change in the time where you can see on previous build date and day used to appear on the top side and time towards the bottom side and everything had similar font size but now the time font size have been increased day and date have been moved towards the bottom side and also after this update i did notice qr code scanner tile have been activated along with the privacy and security this wasn't activated on android 13 on my particular unit and another change what you guys gonna notice if you tap on this edit tile now here we have a reset option which wasn't previously present there were three dots present if you tap on those three dots that time reset option used to appear but now you can directly access this reset tab and when you open any folder which is present on the home screen you can see it covers almost entire text present below it but on android 13 beneath text was almost 90 percent visible and i did not see much of changes here when we long press on the home screen under wallpaper and styles everything remains the same basic colors are more vibrant now other than that i did not notice any kind of new add-on here and if you tap on widget section it's kind of similar now if you go to the app drawer so this change was already in qpr beta like if you open the app drawer you have the search bar if you swipe up the applications here you get the entire search bar and with a proper segregation color difference i mean to say this is kind of grayish and towards the bottom side that's completely black and that pretty well segregates the search portion from the app drawer as far as i remember it was similar on qpr beta 3 or beta 2 and on the home screen one thing which i forgot to mention if you long press on the application now you do get the options here but the color of the icons present here which are for app info and app pause are kind of grayish now on 13 these were incomplete white color there's major change done in the battery section so let's go to battery section first so here few changes have been done by google so let's tap on battery usage and first change what you'll notice here is now the screen on time comes within bigger text and towards the bottom you can see we have a drop down which says breakdown by apps and breakdown by system so here you'll have a fair idea about the battery drain on your particular device battery saver section also got some changes wherein now we get to see some new stuff like battery saver mode extreme battery saver mode and if you go inside here you have all the essential apps and there's also a drop down which will help you segregate apps frequently used and you can also check the battery usage by applications and at last you can arrange them by their names too under adaptive preferences we also had the adaptive battery option but now that have been moved under the battery saver section here you can see 
if you tap on this drop down for adaptive battery we have a tab here it just have been moved towards a different place under schedules and reminder now they have capped the minimum battery percentage to 20 on android 13 it was 10 percent and now with the android 14 now we do have the comeback of fast pair option which was removed on the stable builds of android 13. also on my stable builds i never used to see this security and privacy tab we had different tabs for security and privacy but now we have a single tab for it on my pixel 6a and now if you set a fingerprint as soon as you tap on the fingerprint sensor you get to see this preview on previous build which is android 13 it used to appear after i think 30 percent of registration or 50 percent of registration was completed but now soon you tap on it we get to see the preview under device admin apps now we have a device lock controller on 13 only one option was present which was find my device and at last now if you change the dpi and try to use your device as a tablet mode now there's an option to slowly swipe up and open the taskbar so here you can see and using this taskbar you can also open multiple applications so you just, just have to long press drag and drop towards the right hand side and if you want to play around with this thing you can just go to the settings enable developer option and from here you need to change the smallest width to 622 or 623 by default it was set to 411 so guys these were some of the changes which we have noticed with android 14 first developer preview We'll keep you guys posted. If we find more changes, we'll drop a new video. Or else I'll keep you guys updated with the newer builds of Android 14. So as of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Turn them to a game Take the best I say And put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no